Where are we going, Fox? Where are we going? <laughs> Pook Douglas. Yay! Right. Kurt, what time are we supposed to leave? 6.45. It's 6.50. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Are you so excited? I'm excited. Let's go. From the Tills family. You still haven't changed your name. Yeah, I know, but I'm wearing a necklace, so I'm technically a Tills. This was a very spontaneous trip. It's Malachi's first ever plane ride. We are at the airport. We were so close to cancelling this trip. So booked we booked way. this like five days we ago. We all booked that way. So we, That's uh, right. But we failed to look at the weather. And upon checking the weather, not only did we find out it was raining yeah. and storming every day, but it's like torrential floods. Potentially. It might not be as bad as it says. They're gonna go get some food. We checked the weather and yeah, not only was it like torrential rain and thunderstorms, but it's full on flooding in Port Douglas. We called the resort we're staying at. We were like, hey, can we cancel our booking or can we change it and the guy was like look it's not as bad as the media is making it out to be like you guys can still come and it's like is he just saying that because he doesn't want to lose the booking or is he serious like is it really not that bad we've just had such a crazy few weeks like since Malachi was born that we just want to get away so we thought YOLO we'll see how we go I think it's gonna rain every day but we're just gonna make the best of it and I don't know <laughs> entertain two children in a small villa with floods ideal <laughs> not ideal at all welcome to our summer holiday <laughs> Woo! what do you think about the rain it's cool yeah the boys get ready to get wet let's get wet you're in the puddles let's just yeah. jump in puddles let's jump in puddles maybe we just do coffee runs swim in the pool in the rain yeah whatever you know? out. just chill, chill out, out. That's my boy. That's my boy. Just <laughs> chill out, man. It really kind of reminds me of Hawaii a little bit. Don't you think? It's positive thinking. <laughs> yeah, I know. Without, yes. like, if it was sunny, you like... You did a burp. Ew. What do you say? <laughs> Is this how the cool kids do it? <laughs> no, we got a pool. My goodness, how cool is this? This is so cool. It does remind me of Bali, eh? Oh, look at the pool box. Oh, look, the pool goes off into the rainforest. Let's go look at the rooms and then I'll feed Malachi because he is, he is ready to feed. Wow, I'm gonna do this. I don't know. Welcome back to my channel. No, you gotta see your face, you gotta hold it out wide. Hold it there. Welcome back to my channel. You want to go take us on a tour, Fox? Yeah. All right, you hold it and take it to mommy. Maybe turn it around so you can film some of your way. Put some B-roll that tree there. Yeah, that's good B-roll, Fox. Please. Hello. Good morning. Summer Please. says he. It's sunny. Like, that is blue. Oh, my goodness. It is too. Come and visit me and my roommate. Hi. All right. Oh, so this is where me and Malachi cutie. sleep. I think I'll get a few questions about like how do we travel with a, he's nearly he's six weeks. Yeah. Anyway, this is what we're using for his sleeping situation. I don't trust myself to co-sleep with him. I feel like I would roll on him. Mm. But this, not sponsored, the brand is Ergo Couch, but it's this like little travel mosquito net thing and it's been so good. So mm. I brought this and then I just kind of elevated a little bit on a towel and then I just used this yoga sleep white noise. This comes with like a, a net as well. Yeah. He has been sleeping pretty well, like not amazing. I'm reading the Baby Wise book. Me and my friend Beth are gonna try to like, not sleep train, but like get better sleep than I did with my first newborn. So technically the book says at six weeks old or seven weeks old, he's able to get seven hours sleep straight. I don't agree with this book. <laughs> anyway, he's been, he's been sleeping three hours. I feel hours. like this book is not good for you because it gives false expectations of what your baby should bit. be doing. A little bit, but he's been having three hour stretches, which is fine. That's actually good. I feel Fine. Oh, get? he's got chips. Good. Oh, you got those chips. All right. Well, we need to come and get the backpack, and we need to pack everything because we're running late. Foxy, <laughs> chip man. What are we doing today? <laughs> Big dog, Foxinator, legend, stinky head. What are we doing today? Are we seeing the crocodiles? I 
want to bring these chips. Okay. Maybe you couldn't wait. He's got drive drive through. <laughs> Feeding on the go. Come, come, come. Go. <laughs> That's a nice smile. It's not a Ah, lovely. You're a good big brother, aren't you? Oh, he's climbing up my head. Where is he? On the other side. Oh my god. So put your hand out. Put your hand out. Whoa, he flew off on mum. <laughs> Mum's gonna freak out. It's in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> on your back. Oh my god. Don't scream. You scream, I'll scream. Oh, he's back on the tray. That was that was really fun. <laughs> that, was that was hectic. That was hectic. That's right. Sleepy there, bud. Look at you go, Foxy. Yeah, big run up. And then stop and then jump. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. You like looking up at the palm trees, don't you? That's your view. We have a baby who will not sleep today. I've just tagged him with Kurt for a second. We're just trying to get him to have a little nap in the pram. But we're about to go to the crocodile farm, which, look, little trigger warning. Okay, wait, pause. Um, Important note, I just wanna just recap for a second. Throughout this whole day, I reference my trauma or memories of this croc, my memories, memories of this crocodile farm because I was convinced it was like farming crocodiles, for their skin and their meat. And I reference this a lot, okay? Just bear with me. In a few minutes, I will go more into depth about this, but let's just say my memories right now are not correct, okay? But I'll talk to you in a few minutes. When I was little, my parents took me to the crocodile farm and I just thought it was like a sanctuary for crocodiles. It's not really. Like they breed crocodiles, but they breed them for a reason, if you know what I mean, so. Fox is really excited, but I thought I would show you my outfit of the day. We're very tropical. Shirt is from Blanca. Is it yeah, Blanca? Yeah, boys. Yeah, the boys. Blanca or Blanca? I don't know. So Blanca, Monday Swim, Zulu and Zephyr. And my sunglasses are Ray. Ray, Rai? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how we go because Malachi is just not sleeping. Look, I don't want to glamorize this holiday. Like, the holiday is beautiful, but it is a little bit challenging with a six, seven week old and a toddler, and yeah, he's just not sleeping. How are you going? How are you going, Bridget? Hey, you going, Bridget? I'm going terrible. He's just too slow. Let's just go, let's just pack the bag and go, yeah? Two hours later. <laughs> Seriously. I have a fun analogy for this place we're going. Not an analogy, an example. Remember that movie Chicken Run? Yeah. It starts off, you think, oh, it's like this nice chicken farm and they're all like happy dandy. And then you find out that they all are turning into chicken pies. That's kind of like where we're going a little bit. So yeah, when I was little, my parents took me to the crocodile farm. I, this is going to ruffle some feathers. No pun intended about the chicken run analogy. But like, you know that movie Chicken Run and it's like, oh, they live in this beautiful chicken farm and they're all happy. And then later on in the movie, you find out that they're all being sent to be turned into chicken pies. That's how I felt when my parents took me to this crocodile farm. Fox will love it, but like, yeah, I thought it was just like a sanctuary, but like they breed the crocodiles for like Good meat, day, bite skin, finger. stuff like that. Oh, they eat it. Well, yeah, people eat crocodile. Yeah, it's a weird, weird though. I would never eat a crocodile. Uh, I would. I would, but I would try. Like, I'm adventurous with food. I would like. Yeah, I would try snails. I would but, try anything. Yeah, no, I don't know. But do you know what I mean? Something about crocodiles that like, you know, they're like sort of the king of the water. You know what I mean? Like, you don't eat the king. I eat shark. I've had flake. Yeah, but I still, yeah. do you eat lion? Who eats, I think because they're See what I mean? in date. No, See what I mean? that doesn't make sense. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense right? at all. What's the time? Oh my gosh, it's one o'clock. We have been wanting to go for like over an hour, but either Malachi wanted to feed again. Like Malachi is like cluster feeding today. I think he's just overtired. Anyway, oh, but man. we're on route. Crocodile farm, guys. Yeah, the good. Silly crocodile farm. The silly crocodile farm, that's right. So two yeah. adults. Stunk you get in for free. Please. Please, can I come in? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I was saying to Kurt in the car, is it weird that, like, my vlogs now, it's just, like, you guys are a part of our family holiday? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be a family channel, but, like, literally my life is just about family now, so. Welcome to our family holiday. We are doing snake show at 2, boat ride at 2.30, and crocodile attack show at 3 o'clock. What are you found, Foxy? What animal? What is it called now? 
Granola. Koala, that's right. <laughs> Granola. Granola. Koala. Where is he? Are they cute? Yeah, they is my best friend. Oh, koala. Your best friend. One's eating. Oh, look, you're riding a snake. That's pretty cool, man. I reckon there's about 20, maybe more. There's a lot there. Do you know what you're looking at there? No, I'm having a moment where I'm like, was this real life or was this in my dream? It's me again, I told you I'd be back. Upon arriving home from this holiday, I called my mum, okay? And I was like, mum, remember when I was like eight or whatever and we went to the crocodile farm? I remember it being like this, this, this. Like I remember it being like a jail cell for crocodiles. Now that I'm just like reflecting on these memories I have of the crocodile farm, I should have had these big red flags saying, this was a dream. She confirmed that my memories were completely incorrect and no, the crocodile farm is not like Chicken Run. It is a crocodile zoo, basically. It's a sanctuary for the crocodiles. I thought it was like a slaughterhouse for the crocodiles, but I clearly have some messed up eight-year-old dreams because that was not it. I'm in shock, okay? So I just, yes, if you're a local in Port Douglas and you're like screaming at the screen saying, what the heck, Sarah? The crocodile farm is not like Chicken Run. They do not breed them to use them. You're right. You're so right. My dream was wrong and it, I'm still tripping out about it, but just wanted to confirm that. Highly recommend the crocodile farm because it's a sanctuary. Back to the vlog. I remember seeing like, crocodiles in this farming facility that like they pick the ones for the meat and they pick the ones for the skin. Was this like a trauma dream I had? Must have been. Because this is not the crocodile farm I remember. What are we about to go and pack? The kangaroo now. Oh just don't, no, Fox, Fox don't rush him. Stop, stop. Fox, go slow. Go slow. slow. Hang on Foxy, they might get a bit annoyed if you go up and he's just eating. He's a big boy. Come back a bit Foxy. <laughs> Jeez. He wants to know if you've got anything in your hands. Oh, you pat him. Just be very gentle with him. Fox, show me your face. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Give me a wipe. Now I think there is some kangaroo poo on my son's face, <laughs> but we're just not going to tell him because he's at the age where that will embarrass that him. That will embarrass him. Fox, come here. Fox, you got to come here quickly. He's just too confident. He's way too confident. What is that? Don't kiss the kangaroos. Christmas 2022, he's gonna ask for a kangaroo, 100%. Yeah. Come here, you got poo on your face. Come here. Yeah, you got poo on your face. Come here quick, it's very embarrassing. I don't know, how did you get poo on your face? Yeah, you really have some. Yeah. Did you eat poo? No. Don't, eat, sure? don't eat kangaroo poo, whatever you do. Because you'll turn into a kangaroo and it. No, don't say that, he'll probably want to become one. I'll have to leave you here. Oh, that's cute. No, no, he was, he was liking that. Uh, let's go up real slowly. Oh, it likes you. Don't get scared. It's okay. He thinks you got food. No, I know. No food, Malachi. No food, Malachi. <laughs> You're going to pat one? Come on, you got to get down and pat it. I'll pat this one. Oh my what did you say about the so snake show? The guy, he was like, kangaroos kill more and more people than like sharks. Yeah, I think, I think ah, those kangaroos I like, would be alright. I, I, I see them. <laughs> Aww. Can you hear the emus? Oh look, he made the noise. Did you hear it? <laughs> Alright, that'll do. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Full disclosure, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> What are we doing? We we go in the pool. Are yeah, we? The boy, it is high. Quick, quick, yeah, the boys swim. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> <laughs>
now. Just chilling? You guys just chilling? So I didn't vlog yesterday, but we just ended up having a resort day. We were going to go to the rainforest to a place called Mossman Gorge. I don't know, like Fox's nap didn't work out. Like he ended up napping in the middle of the day. And Malachi, oh my gosh, like when we arrived, Malachi was easy. Like he would just feed and sleep. Like I could put, I could literally put him down here and he would sleep. I don't know if he's like going through a leap or maybe it was like the coffee I had yesterday. I don't know. Like I'm thinking he's maybe going through a leap, which is like a big growth spurt. But yesterday, oh my gosh, Kurt and I both tried the entire day to get him to nap and he slept for like 30 minutes which if you know a six week old is not enough they should be sleeping for literally majority of the day and just like waking up for feeds and a little bit of awake time so that was challenging but today what are we doing go on the waterfalls get it boy <laughs> yeah the boys yeah the foxy of being a parent yeah. on holidays. Yeah. So we just arrived to the Discovery Center. I don't know why I always do this. It is the Discovery Center. Yeah. We've just arrived and Fox said he has a bit of a headache. So he's catching flies. Malachi, as you can tell. Is he the happy? <laughs> no, no, he is happy. He's just he wanting to, to feed. feed more. Look at you gorgeous boy. And I don't know if we can be able to see this, but the clouds up there are just like coming in. I yeah, go. we'll go. We got We're just kind of fast. waiting it out to see if it rains. You can plan all you want, but it never goes to plan, does it, Malachi? No. It's not oh. far. Apart. Oh, big yawn. Fox, where are we going? Going to rainforest. We've got to hurry. I think we're going to miss the bus. Show me your excited face. But be prepared. <laughs> the water there is super cold. Is it? We have to, yeah, it's freezing. But we have to get in. It's like a fresh water stream, it's freezing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna get in? Yeah. yeah. Did you know, fun fact, this is the oldest rainforest in the world. Can yeah. you point to the way we gotta go? Oh, that way? Okay. Turkey tried to steal really? our wife. Did you get that? No. <laughs> Did he take him? Yeah. That's like the monkeys in Bali. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Let's go up in the water. Another unspoken thing of traveling with two kids, it's like you tag team. So you guys can go swimming and then I'll go swimming later. But Malachi's still sleeping. That's good. It's cold, but it's not as cold as I remember. Oh, Daddy went in. Whoa. <laughs> Go on, mummy. I'm not good in pools, let alone like freezing fresh water. <laughs> Go on, just duck under. Duck under. I'm too Go. Scared. Say, don't push me. Go on. Come on, mum. Come on, mum. Do it. Be brave. Be brave. That's it. Under you go. Hey. So brave. I'm like full dad moding with this hat right now. Like, <laughs> this is beautiful through here though. I'm on duties of carrying the pram up the stairs while Sarah <laughs> holds Malachi. And what are you doing? Peace, man. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> you go away, head. Quick, go, go, go. Foxy. Whoa, wobbles, wobbles. Woo. Wobble, 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 wobble. Find an epic spot where there's no one else around. Like, keep looking until you find something good. Because otherwise, I don't like crowds. Yeah. I don't like people. Yeah. I don't like you. <laughs> Jax, love you. I like you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fox likes you. How crystal clear is this water? This is. Oh, this is awesome. Sarah's trying to live up her dream as like a bougie mum. No. How, how much is Why your outfit? Go on. Mom? No. Total. No. Talk, no. Tell us, no. Talk us through it. <laughs> Bougie mum just walked past us and she, yeah, she was in a cool outfit and Kurt goes, you need to start wearing bougie mum clothes like that. Are you <laughs> No, the unappreciation <laughs> is the most you expensive shirt that. I own and you have the audacity to say, I need to wear bougie clothes. I, yeah, look, I said, your outfit looks fabulous today. Besides those shoes, what are those? And my band <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this bougie mum so, doing it all. No, doing it all. Alone. You don't appreciate- Stay here. Stay here. You, yeah, stay, stay here. No, you we're best friends. Stay, I'm going to take your fruit fashion. salad, mate. You don't, no, stay here. You don't right. appreciate fashion. Fashion? You don't appreciate it. He doesn't appreciate it. Stay 
Stay here. Okay. Naughty boy. Okay. Naughty boy. All right. I'll see you later then. No. Bye. <laughs> Says he. Adventure mum. What do you reckon, Foxy? This is the first time mum's ever ridden one. Have you ridden one? Yeah, in Canberra. My, there yeah. she goes. My, 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 my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you pulling a face there, Foxy. You sticking your tongue out. Yeah, mum. <laughs> hey, we are obviously back home now. I'm currently in Fox's room. There's no real reason I'm in here other than there is amazing lighting. Is this my new D&M spot? Fox, can I have your room? So obviously we went on the holiday. You just watched the whole vlog. You already know that. Upon coming home, we just had some time to self-reflect and confirm that we're so glad we went. Like genuinely, I wish I took a screenshot of the weather plan or whatever, the weather forecast, that's the word. The weather forecast for that week, it was literally torrential rain every single hour. It said it was gonna flood. Like there was warnings saying like, don't come up, if like don't travel there if you don't have to. And it was pretty much like blue skies and sunny every single day with like a few showers but it was amazing. I want to confirm that like traveling with two kids was so much easier than I thought. Like it's not simple and it took a lot of like it took a lot more planning and like we were just a bit more structured with our time and we had like dinner super early and just like had to be slow paced but I would highly recommend traveling with like that kind of age gap because Malachi is so small that like he doesn't have a say okay he can't crawl he can't get into mischief he can't say no so he just kind of like went with the flow and he's a really really good baby but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I really enjoyed filming it I just want to say the upcoming vlogs I'm super excited for because if you can't tell by my flushed post sweaty face I am back in the gym it's my as I'm filming this hey I'm filming this the day that this vlog goes live so it's my second week back training and I'm gonna vlog everything I'm vlogging what I'm eating how I'm training how I'm feeling I need to rejig my whole wardrobe because nothing fits me because everything was like pregnancy friendly anyway shut up Sarah I always do this as you can tell I'm very excited to be vlogging again I'm excited to bring you guys along with me make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week and I'll be sharing everything with you subscribe right now just down there I'll just wait I'm assuming you've all subscribed now. Great. Like this video and I will see you guys in the next one, which is my Mother's Day vlog. Bye.